Ready? Brought again the game underway. So that opt in to, to keep possession now, looking to push up the field. Balls out for a throw in. Doing well, Kelly. Doing well, Ted. Good ball. The pressure, good ball into the box, but straight through. Straight through the box and out the other side. Positive start for Broda. As they've done well holding on to possession. Kelly have done well to keep him at bay for the most part, but a dangerous ball into the box there. We'll not want to see too many of those. Paddy Boy with a long throw. Only goes as far as Higgy. Broder bringing the ball down. Clearance by Paddy Boyle there. Touch. And again out wide for Broder. So again, he look to get the ball into the box. And it's low and out for a Kelty goal kick. So yeah, good early bit of play there from Broder. Right, look from up Broder. for it. for the head of Austin, there it goes over Austin and Phelps through oh, in the he's back, in. he's got an opportunity here, he's in the box, it falls to Austin, oh. wide corner quite fortunate the way the ball, ball fell there for Kelty and you'd hope Austin would be able to find the back of the net but it's still early days, we've got a corner kick there's a real chance, if that's felt with Nathan's left foot I think it'd be a different story Easton with the ball in, towards the back post Falls to Higgy with the volley over the bar. Right idea there, but it's a bit early with the connection. That's Kelty's first real chance of the game. Joe Mallon, the captain for Brora, be taking the goal kick here. Out towards Harrison for Brora, headed away by Paddy Boyle and Higginbotham looking to knock the ball on. John Pickles with a throw in for Brora. Brora with possession now, is it up to go down that left wing again? Morrison looking to run on the ball, but easily scooped up by Dan Jameson. Post to Tids or looks to knock on to Higginbotham. Felt with the ball now. Working up the right. It's out for a Kelty throw in. Nice bit of defending there by McDonald for Brora. Kelty playing the ball right back now. Back to Doogie Hill. The long ball looking up for Austin again. Brilliant, brilliant tracking back there. Yeah. Felt with the ball again now. Again opting to play the ball back to Hooper. Hooper back to DJ in the goal. Higginbottom with a flick on there, looking for Austin a wee bit too much though. Again, right idea. Paddy Boyle with the ball now, plays it to Tidzer. Tidzer out wide to Easton. And Pickles getting a touch on the ball, knocking it out for a Kelty throw in there. Easton 
Easton with the ball now. That's a goal kick. Bit better there from Kelty, looking to get into the game a little bit as uh, the minutes go on. Uh, settled in a wee bit. Conditions are awful, innit? Ah, they are. They're proving a bit problematic for both sides, not making too much, not getting too much going at the moment. Looks like first touch, now, touch inside there. Higginbotham again, looking for the flick on to Felt by out for a broader throw in. Sarah McDonald with a throw in for Brora. Tids are now with the ball. He's managed to work it through. It has, and it's fought, fell nicely to Austin, but cleared away. Long ball only as far as Boogie Hill, bringing it down for Kelty, out to Paddy Boyle. He's got Easton. Easton back to Riley now. For the opening, finds Easton again in the centre of the park now. He's got Paddy Boyle on the left wing. Ball to Higginbottom, two players around him, he loses possession there. I thought it was quite poor for Higgy there, he had a chance to turn into that. He did, but we've got possession again and he'll have another chance here. Higginbottom with the ball. Plays in the centre of the park, Tidger now. Cool as you like, isn't it? I don't think he, he knows the word pressure, Tidzer. Back to Hooper now. Oh, great An well. excellent turn there for Ross Philp, just a wee oh. bit too much, but does enough to oh, win the throw in. Yep. Wins a foul. Taking oh, it has. For a foul, Ball into the just outside the box. It's the head of Hagenbotham. Pickles just shielding the ball out there for a broader goal kick. Against the wind brought in this first half. Goes as far as the halfway line. Tids away the ball now, knocks it on to Easton, heads it down to Philp, who gives it back to Easton. To Austin, sorry. We can play the ball through to Philp there, but just a wee bit too much. It's out for a goal kick. Gonna get the game back underway here. Marlon with the goal kick. Well headed down there. Picked up by Gillespie and a good bit of play there, but it's broken up by Kelly. Tids are looking for the ball through to to Austin, but again, well broken up. Good idea there from Kelly. It's out for a throw in. Sullen going down there and winning the free kick for Broader Rangers. We push in the back. Broader out of danger from set pieces. A big team here. They've got a chance to play the ball into the the box. Got a good 
greatest two balls there. It was, and a wee bit too low and easily dealt with there by Kelly. Spoke about it prior to the game to kick off today. That first goal is going to be important for, I suppose, dictating how the game goes after it. If Kelly can get that first goal, gives us a major advantage. But if Rory get that first goal, it's it's all to play for. It's only a one one goal game after that. Definitely. Referee with the whistle, they're just having a, a word with Austin and Pickles. Kids are going down their free kick to Kelly. Jameson will come out to take it. Ten yards outside the, the box. Looking for Higginbotham. It's brought down by Brora. Nice head on there. And he's just offside there. I think the keeper for potentially had it covered anyway, yeah. but good idea there from Game back underway. Nicholson with the ball for Brora. Pickles where run down the wing now. Got an opportunity to swing it in and well blocked there by Easton in. Quick and it's a throw in now. Fall into Sutherland. He looks to walk his way in and yeah, it looked position. like he was leaning into looked like he was leaning into East in there, but looked a bit soft, but it did yeah, it's it's a potential. It's a good chance. It is a dangerous position here. Not the greatest day free kicks last time round from Brora, but completely different angle this time round. Wagoner over the ball here for Rora Rangers. It's looking like he's looks like he wants to go for it. Wagoner with the ball. Keep her side. Easy. Yeah. Nicely taken there by Jameson. He didn't look too convinced in that free kick at all. It didn't he look like he was, you know, trying to put any real force in it? it just no, I think he was going for position over power. Yeah, it's quite passive. Headed down, Higginbotham with the ball, now he's got Phil out wide. Phil with the oh ball back, looking for Higginbotham, but it was a poor, poor pass from Ross Phil there. Still nil nil here at New Central Park in the second leg of the Pyramid Playoff semi-final between Kelty Hearts and Broader Rangers. On ball up and Hooper with the clearance there. Played out to the left wing. Ball's out for a Kelly throw in. Taken quickly by Stevenson. Yeah, we're, we're second to a lot of these balls. We need to pick it up a wee bit. Actually, I'm, do you know going to be comfortable with that 2-0 lead at the moment but can't yeah we can't rest um, because if Rora if Rora get a bit of luck here and get that first goal and it's yeah, yeah it's going to be hell for the nerves Out again for another throw in. Taking ball and looking to flip it on to Austin there. 
don't know why when they try and hold that up there and just keep working their way up the line. Cleared by Hooper. Played out wide, good pressure for Philp. Dora working now, ball into the Kelty half now. He's played out wide to Pickles. Does he well. does well to get around Easton there. Flicks into the ball. box. It's a good ball as well. It was an excellent delivery there. It's causing all sorts of problems down this right hand side at the moment. Knocked on by Philp. Higginbottom got an opportunity here. Cleared by Brora as far as the halfway sec line. Second balls, we're just not picking them up at the minute. Just sharpen up a wee bit in the middle. Oh, he's done brilliant there, Higgy. He's done it absolutely <laughs> brilliant there. I, can't, I thought he was losing that for sure there. He's cleared as far as Boyle. Heading the ball up. Just brought down McLean with the ball. Playing it back. Back along the broader back line. A wee bit too much for Andy McRae there and it's out for a throw into Kelty. Stevenson's going to take. So looking for Austin. It's brought down and it's a throw in for, oh it's a throw in for Kelty. He's just throwing there to Tidger back to Stevenson. Blocked for Austin, it's knocked on. Brought able to clear. Oh, Ross well. Brilliant touch there for Ross and he flicks it into the box. Okay. It's, dealt with, it's dealt with by Broder, but not very well, and it's a, a corner kick now to Kelly. Dylan Easton heading up to the corner flag. It's a big team, this Brora side, but we've got a few big guys here our own. Just flicked Good into ball. the box, headed away by Brora as far as Tidza. He's looking to flick it out to Easton there, but quite doesn't quite work. A nice ball out to McRae now. McRae goes down and it's a free kick. I thought he fell there, to be yeah, honest. I thought, he'd, uh, I it thought he fell. It looked as though he'd gone a wee bit further than the ball, tried to turn and went down, but referee blows his whistle and it's a free kick, no card. It's another chance. It's a good chance for there as well. Let's get for delivery, right? They haven't threatened so far for these free kicks, but it's nervy. Took your house going off injured. Craig Reed making coming coming onto the field for Dougie Hill. I hope Dougie's okay there. I never seen anything that happened there that could have. Craig Reed played on Tuesday, came on as a late sub for Kelties. Doing the same today, a bit earlier on. Ball delivered into the box. And it's a free kick to Kelty there. Better delivery there from Rory Rangers. Aye, much better. With the, the size of that team, losing Dougie Hill could be very impactful for Kelty. Dougie's one of you know one of the guys that goes after the ball at every set piece, so could be interesting from the set pieces going forward. Yeah, absolutely. How dangerous Brora can be from those set pieces, and yeah, missing Dougie Hill is going to be it's not ideal. Boyle with the ball now, going to knock it up towards Austin again. Second ball's here, it's ball played back to Malin. Is it Tidza with the header? Oh, brilliant. Excellent again from Tidza. He's got Higginbottom, he's got Austin, he's found Austin. Austin goes down, no free kick though. 
Grora with a chance now. Andy McCreary looking to run onto the ball. Craig Reid with first touch of the ball and it's a clearance back up the park. Oh, excellent from Higginbotham. It's a looks like he tried to edge in there, but he ended up taking the player out. Free kick to Brody. They get the game back underway now. Well played out wide again for Brora. I would say, you know, us being now 20 minutes in, that Brora have had the better of the actual play. Yeah, they've those uh, those set pieces particularly in. In, in particular, that what last one giving the advantage, I think, to Brora, but still no nil. Not quite as lively as the game on Tuesday. I think we'd had a couple of penalties <laughs> no um, ten minutes ago by this point. Penalties set the tempo of that game, to be honest. Long ball up, and it brought down by Austin. It's Higginbottom now with a chance to work in. He's going to deliver the ball and across the box. It, oh, it fell to Austin, but he just couldn't quite get the right touch on it. And into the hands of Marlon. I think he was quite surprised that he made it to him there. He got late to react. Absolutely. A couple of cross balls in for Kel to have not been dealt with the best by Broder. They've got a chance now, though, as they look to knock the ball up by into the hands of Jameson for Kelly Hearts. Looking for Greg Morris in there, Broder. Just a wee bit too much on the ball though. And a bit of the same from Kelty, so the ball goes straight into the, the feet of Marlon. Sensed a wee bit of frustration in Kelty at the minute. Yeah, the game's not, not coming as, as easily as it did, or it, it certainly felt it did on, on Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Ball headed in, cleared away by Hooper. Flashes look to chase that. So Marlon with the ball now. Happy to take his time it would seem. On ball, good header by Boyle there and Easton. Knocking it out for a throw in. Pickles with the ball now for Brora. It's well taken back by Kelly. It's Easton with the ball now. Kelly throwing. Dylan's not really had a chance to impose himself in the game yet. I think that's where I want to. He's not. We spoke about it before the game. Um, after Tuesday's performance, he'd have a few people on him. We, we said a couple of people every time. It seems like it's closer to three every time he touches the ball. Yeah. All right, excellent there from Hooper to nip in and steal the ball. Easton with the ball now. Oh, and a poor, poor pass back there, and Brora have got a chance to break away now. He's running a bit of corridor there, but it's going to open up. Yeah, Morrison playing the ball out wide for Brora. He seems to have picked up a little bit of the game in the last couple of minutes. Ball swung ball into the box and right, right across the box. Yeah, these need to be dealt with a bit better, I think. Yeah. We thought it'd be a bit of another game. It certainly, certainly turned out to be that way. 20, 20 plus minutes into the game, set for another throw. -in. Nice head on there from Austin. Higginbottom just not quite able to deal with the, the second ball. Marlon with the ball now. Stevenson with the ball for Kelly. He's got a bit of time for the long ball, but again, not really to anybody. You know, it's a wee bit rushed from Kelly. They seem to be playing these long diagonals and didn't really be, seem to be going anywhere yet. Again, they look a wee bit stretched in the middle of the park. A nice ball up there from Wagoner. 
it's a goal kick to Kelty there. Looks like it could have gone either way there, both boys getting to the ball at the same time. So we'll need to see a wee bit more for Kelly. Like it's been a wee bit, oh well, for our perspective anyway, it's been a wee bit uh, lacklustre, I would say, in the, the front third. No, absolutely. Plenty of movement off the ball, but we'll just know. Oh, but here we go, we could have something here though. Here Easton go. has the ball, he's looking for something similar to Tuesday night, but he can't connect a good tackle from Pickles there for Brora. Really well timed there. Clearance only goes as far as Boyle though, Riley with the ball now, plays it to Tidzer. Tidzer back to Craig Reed. substitute coming on for Dougie Hill. Hooper with the ball now, plays out wide to Boyle. Riley a good bit of possession play here from Kelly, but need to be pushing into the opposition half. And we've done it here, Phil with a good turn there. Back to Riley. Hooper, now to Boyle. Back to Hooper. Kelly happy to keep possession here. I think that's what they're going to need to do because as soon as Brora uh, lose the ball, they're going really compact. Um, Kelly are just going to have to try and keep the ball for that wee bit longer. I know killing the tie-offs are a big part of this game, but um, if they could keep them and drag them out the park and pull them out of the tight positions, I think that's what's going to be the best for, for us to get on. Now Brora way are throwing, they've got a chance to string a few passes together, see what they can do. They've moved well up the park, but not this time. Played out wide to Paddy Boyle now. He's got some time and a bit of space up the, up the wing. It's opened up a wee bit for him here. It's opened up Great nicely for him. Need to move. Oh, and looking to get the ball through Austin. Well cut out there from Brora. Brora now with a chance to push up the field. A it's nice a ball pass. up to Morris in there. Pass. He's got a chance to through go. here and he's found the back of the net. Great finish. Great pass. It was a superb pass up to Morris in there. And this is what we didn't want to see happening. 1-0 to Brora Rangers. So we have, say Brora were getting the better of the ball, I would say, well, better of the chances as well, but creating more, you know, dragging fills out the edge of the box and stuff like that. I don't want to say it was coming, but I'd have definitely made it to their advantage now. So Greg Morrison with the goal for Brora Rangers. Score 2 1 on aggregate now. <laughs> great finish as well. Great pass through to him and a great finish. One ball looking for Austin there. It's over his head going into feet of Marlon. Agreed with the header out there. It's going to be a throw in for Brora deep in the Kelty half. Referee says go oh, to the shout, Good and ball. Austin could be Austin's through here. In. We could have an opportunity to equalise things up. Yes. yes, and it's a goal well done. Excellent stuff from Nathan Austin. Super, we saw him do that twice on Tuesday night. Malin denied both times. He got a touch this time, but he finds the back of the net and it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's We mentioned it in the build-up there that, you know, Nathan had the defenders on toast pace-wise and a ball over the top, you know. It, he got away, but the keeper saved, made two good saves on Tuesday night, but unfortunately he got a hand to that one, just didn't quite work out. Absolutely, he was unfortunate not, keeper was unfortunate not to get more after getting a, a touch on that one, but it rolled into the back of the net and he'll be delighted with that. Oh, you know, a good show of strength for Nathan is here as well, he managed to, managed to hold him off. So it's 3-1 on aggregate to Kelty Hearts now here at New Central Park. We're 30 minutes into the, the first half. Still got 60 minutes of football to go, but Brora find themselves 2-0, two goals down again. Didn't last long, did it? 
I didn't know. It was a good, it was a quick reaction. It's what we needed. Yeah. But hopefully it puts a bit of life into this game for both sides because it has been a bit, it's been definitely been pedestrian on Kelly's part. Broad have been better than what they were on Tuesday night. But hopefully we get to see a wee bit of a bite through the game now. That's the way it's um, Broad now that are pressing, looking for their second of the game. Superbly defended and Austin looked like he might have been through again there, but play broken up by Broader Rangers. And they play the ball all the way back to goalkeeper Malin. Riley now with the ball to Easton back to Riley, Paddy Boyle doing well there in some tight space to come away with the ball. Easton chasing the ball for Kelly Hearts. Nicholson looking for the long ball over. Well dealt with by Stevenson. Nice was he He's was offside that time. I had a wee look just as the ball was played. <laughs> he was a fair bit off there, like fine margin. Sometimes we Austin, sometimes not so much. I know. I normally defend them as well, but that <laughs> time it, it was a wee bit beyond it. Something that Austin said before that that he's always he's always toting that line, always pushing pushing the boundaries, and he gets through every now and again. And when he does. One on one with the keeper. He's got a better chance than most. Broader way of throwing now as Pickles picks up the ball. Deep in the, the Kelly half, but it's well dealt with. Clearance. Only as far as the halfway line as Broder pick up the ball, it's Sutherland with a pass. Play back into the Broder defence. Sutherland again with the ball now. Some good play there for Broder, some good one twos. And it's found its way to the left wing as he looked to put the ball in, but well defended there. Ross Philp getting in the way of that cross into the box. It's out for a corner. First corner of the game for Brora, I think. I think you're right, aye. So we've got a chance to deliver. They took it short, though. They've took Quick. it quickly. Now they've delivered it in. Well, well headed away. Well dealt with from Kelly. The chances on, oh, it's just not broken away. Feel, feel nicely at first. Higginbottom's got to get a chance now. Nice bit of play here for Brora. In a tight space, and they take the shot from so distance. and. Was not a bad strike at all from Wagoner. Looked like it was dipping at the last minute, but it didn't dip enough, and it's oh, James one on one at the back here. Yes, he he's got the pace again on the defender. He's won the corner. He okay. has had the pace on Nicholson all yeah. day there. Great ball out for DJ at the back there as well. for a lot of trouble if they want to go one on one at the back for a while though. Easton with a sh short corner kick and it's back with Easton now as he looks to ball. deliver the ball in. It was a nice ball in but scooped up by Sutherland. Clears it as far as McRae. Played back to Jameson there from Riley. Long ball again looking for Austin. The game's definitely sprung to life though, is it? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's given a wee bit of burst for goals for both sides. Certainly that Kelty goal could have deflated Brora, but they seem to have kept their, head, kept their heads up, continuing to put pressure on Kelty. Yes. Play broken up there, it's Tidza with the ball now. Plays a nice ball out, out wide to Austin. Back to Higginbottom to Riley. Out wide to Easton now. 
the standard two players for Brora there closing in on Easton. Cooper with the header. The judge to have fouled. Interesting that the linesman didn't give that there, but the ref did, who was about 40 yards away. Interesting call, but. Pretty bog standard aerial challenge there. Didn't think there was much in it. Yeah, they both sort of went for it. Hooper won the header, but it's a free kick to Brora. Wagoner standing over it again. again. But it's he's delivered in, into it's the box really this time. Ball. Had to be dealt with. Yeah, and that was a tricky, tricky header clearance, I think, from that angle, but he yeah. dealt with it well. And we're going to get another corner this time from Brora. Last time they, they opted to take it short. This time it looks like they're going to try and deliver the ball in. Into the box for Brora. It is Heddard. Oh, and that Save was. Off the line there. It was. Well dealt with. They probably could have done a little bit better there. Brora Rangers, but. Ball back into play, and it's Brora that are pressing again. Long ball out looking for McLean there, but too much on it. It's out for a Kelty throw. Less than 10 minutes left in the second half here at New Central Park. I'll not pick you up on that second half jipe there. <laughs> I'll, I'll get that later. I'm sure Marco has something to say at half time. Ready, ready to go home, obviously. <laughs> it's cold. It is cold enough. <laughs> I think uh, coming here for half one was a wee bit too ambitious for us. Brora playing along the back line again, looking to get down the left wing. Jameson knocking the ball out for a throw in. Nice ball in from Brora towards really the back ball. post and well done, big Jameson does, yeah, does really well to get up there, punch the ball away, felt with the ball now for Kelty, needs to deal with this. He's done well, done well if we can get away. Craig Reid with the ball now. It's fine, well done. We've, we've got away with that there. It comes to Tidza. And Tidza fouled there. Just a clever, clever one to take there for Tids. Let's put his body in front of the man. And so it's Easton now with the ball up to Boyle. Back to Easton. Tidza with the ball now in the centre of the park. Play it back to Craig Reid. Nice turn there from Stevenson. Finds Austin. And unfortunate to lose the ball there. Play out to Nicholson. Plays it behind Pickles. It's out for a Kelty throw in. Barry Boy away the throw in. Higginbottom heading it on. Easton doing the same, but nobody there, and it's brought down by Nicholson. Well so picked up there by Stevenson. Some pace as he Driving. looks to press up here. He's got Austin on just just inside the box. We still deliver it over, and it's cleared as far as Tidza. Heads it out wide to Easton. He's got Paddy Boyle in support. Good ball. Great ball there from Tidza. And he does, in. he keeps it in. And He's in the box. Easton's in the box with the ball. Him, yep. And he's looking for looking for another wonder strike there. Great bit of play there, started off by a superb run from, from Stevenson. Easton with a knock on to Riley. Riley shoots oh. and it's over the bar. What a pop. He was, he had the space there. Five minutes to half time. Five minutes. 
till the end of the first half. Goal kick dealt with. Well by Kelty then, it's Tidza now, the ball cuts it into Austin. Back to Riley, oh, looking to knock it on to Higginbottom, Higginbottom no, starting to come back in and it's going to go out for a goal kick. Watch for the short ball out to Pickles for Brora. Too much on it there, it's out for a Kelty throwing. Stevenson to take. Finds Higginbottom. Stevenson looking for the ball over to Philp. Now he's out for a a goal kick. Better from Kelly, I think, the last 10 15 minutes. I have definitely come into the game since the goal. Um, let's say it was very pedestrian that first half hour or so. But um, I really come into it since you know we've managed to get ourselves back to the two goal advantage, which and they've got a chance here. A nice oh. ball. Oh. A nice ball through there. Nicholson did well to get a touch on it and then shouts for a penalty. I thought he took him out there. Like I'd have to, I'd have to see that again. But yeah, we're going to need an action replay of that. I know. I think we maybe had other penalties in the last game though. Met our penalty quarter. <laughs> Ball in and it's Stevenson looking for the clearance. Not not the greatest as the broader player got between Stevenson and the ball, but better that time as far as a halfway line. Broader with the ball again now though. It was a wee bit scrappy there at the back for us. Nicholson with the ball out to Pickles. Easton in quick there. Queen playing the ball out wide. A nice turn there. And well in there from Stevenson. Just to break up that dangerous attack. Austin now with the ball. She looks the turn, he's going to need a wee bit of support. He's done Still well to it. keep a hold of it though. He's got Higgin bottom. Higgin, oh. And usually Higgy can be so reliable with those three balls to, to Austin. It's brother, I've got a chance to break now. Craig Reed there. Well up with the header and it's Paddy Boyle now with the ball. We're going to see another chance before the half. Paddy Boyle back to Hooper. Plays it all the way back to DJ in the goal. Jameson with a clearance out and well up there, Tidza. It's Easton now bringing the ball down for Kelty. Boyle with the ball back to Tidza. Tidza looking for the ball over, looking for Austin. It's brought down by Brora though. They're struggling a little. Kelly put a wee bit more pressure, pressing a little bit more than they did at the, the start of the half, making it difficult for Brody. They still look like they could be dangerous, but a lot better from Kelty. Nicholson with the ball for Brora. 
Well broken up by Riley, hits the ref, and the ref's going to stop play. Gives Kelly a chance to reset here. Final push before the half time whistle. I think you'll probably call it just now. Craig Reid. The ball well cleared by Brora. Again, not picking up these second balls at all. McLean with the ball through there. Looking for Wagner there and Philt managed to get in between it. It's a free kick now to Kelty inside their own half. Cynical there, maybe lucky not to get away with a booking. <laughs> 1 1 here at New Central Park. Kelty up 3 1 on aggregate. Jameson with a kick looking for Austin. And Austin got the turn there and he's managed to keep it in. Plays it back to time. Stevenson and half time here at New Central Park. 1-1. One, one. We'll be back in 15 minutes for another 45 minutes of action back football. I will be honest. Um, what Rust we didn't show, I would say, on Tuesday night seems to he kind of reared its head today. I don't know if it's maybe tired legs or whatever else, but um, at the end of the day, you know, the game's still here to be played and still here to, win, to be won, and it's not over by any means. No, absolutely not. But you're right in what you're saying, we do need a wee bit more composure. We need to start getting near these second balls. The ref's right there, he was already on his way down there. He was, aye. Ah, like I said, I don't think it's a booking, but I think he was already on his way down and they just come together there. Wouldn't they say it's a dive? No. Stevenson may throw in. Have a game for another Kelty throwing now. We bit of energy here for Kelty's. Felt looking to make the run there. Just not quick enough with the throwing, but Stevenson now with the throwing. Out to Tidza. Plays it all the way back to Jameson there. Brought down by Morrison. And well cut off there by Phil. But Stevenson with the ball now. The ball over to Austin Noy, but he keep it in. So it's going to be a throw in here to Brora Rangers. Ali McDonald's going to take a throw in for Brora. It's a with the header. All the way back to Craig Reid. McDonald again with the throw in. Nice left there for Morrison. Broadway throwing deep, deep in the, the Kelty half now. McDonald with the ball across the box there. Another chance and a good ball in towards the back, looking for Wagner. Broadway with the ball. Good play there by Pickles. Uh, 
A great ball there through Fabrora. Played out wide again. Got a chance to ping it in here. Watch for the short boy. Sutherland looking to whip the ball in there and it's knocked out for a throw in. Headed on and cleared away by Hooper. And Austin needs to do better at bringing the ball down there. It's the wee things like that they are really putting us under pressure, you know, just as we knock on and stuff like that. We just need We've to got a chance for right. distance here and it's out wide. Yeah, yeah, I think you're quite right. It's difficult condition, but these boys should be able to play under those kind of conditions. Uh, definitely. I just had a look over at Barry there. And he's, look, he's trying to rev them up a wee bit because, like, again, it's kind of started the same as the same way as it did in the first half. It's kind of laboured, you know. Knocking the ball up there, it's out for a goal kick for Rora Rangers. Malin with the ball now. Plays the short ball out to Nicholson. Nicholson looking for Sutherland, and it's well in there by Riley, and he's nipped it through, and Austin. Half a yard there, half a yard there, pass on it. He gets a touch on that, and you can imagine he's going to make his way around Nicholson again. I've been impressed with Dale Gillespie this game, it really composed, controls everything for Brewer in the middle of the park. Been solid. He's probably been the man of the match so far. Craig Reed with the ball back to Jameson. Clears it as far as the halfway line. It's brought down by Brora. Again, we're just a yard off everywhere. Stevenson with a throw in here for Kelly. Played back to Malin in the goal. On ball cleared. By Hooper, and this time it's Boyle brings it down. Easton now with the ball. He goes down, it's a free kick to Kelty. There wasn't much on there for Dylan unless he's tried to cut inside, but he was under a bit of pressure. He done well to get the foul. But we really need to, you know, there was a wee bit in the first half there, about 15 minutes or so, where the game did have some bite and had some, you know, pace in it. and we need to get that back. On ball looking for Austin. Again, that's what I mean about these second balls. We're just not picking none of them up. Bro, I've got a chance to break away now. Fell away by Hooper all the way to Malin in the broader goal. It's play back underway. With a wide to Williamson. And headed well away there from Craig Reed. Morrison was closing in. Another dangerous place to give away a free kick. Yeah, a wee bit of coming together there between. Tidzer and McRae, and it's a dangerous free kick, as she said, to Broader Rangers right on the edge of the box here. I'm not sure if it's a booking for kicking the ball away or if it's a booking for the foul, but either way, 
both quite silly for Tidsy. I think, well, I, I didn't think the foul was anything intentional, but kicking the ball away, when, oh, silly booking to give away if that's what it's been for. Yeah, a bit of frustration, I think, showing through there. Galepsi and Wagoner over the ball here for Brona Rangers. And they flicked it in and it's straight in the hands of. Not the worst ball in the world, but. He's on. He's on. Yeah, I think he was. That's a silly booking for Dylan Easton there as well. He just kicked the ball away. Yeah, after just seeing Tids have picked up the same <sighs> yellow. Yeah. A game that's so finely balanced, the last thing you want to do is pick up some silly bookings, you know, because it puts the guys under pressure. The rest of the game, still a long time to go, still about 35 minutes or so to go. Play back underway, Sullivan with the ball, a nice turn there on. Boyle, but he runs straight into Riley. Riley with a flick ball. over looking for Austin. This is another great oh. ball. He took it first oh. time and <laughs> just wide. Marlon wasn't sure if that was going wide. He went for it, but great pass from Tam Riley there. That was set Austin on. away. They f at first nip in there, win the ball, and then they play it through. A fine chance. We get play underway with a short pass again. Brother looking for the long ball over to Morrison there, but straight into the hands of Jameson for Kelly Hearts. this thing looking for Austin Stevenson does well to nip in there and win the ball he plays it to Riley Riley to Easton in the middle of the park he's got Boyle out wide nice bit of play there to Easton tries to get the turn but Sullivan with a good tackle there and they've got a chance to break away now Morrison with a good header knocks on to himself but Jameson confident just Command in his box here, he yeah. sort of read the danger and come and dealt with it. Cause it was Good touch as well for yeah. Morrison. Uh, it was taken very well by Morrison. We flick on for himself and hadn't Jameson reacted there, he had a, a definitely had an opportunity. On ball. Austin up there. I think that'll be incident just kind of sums up Dylan's game so far. He's He's struggled to get himself into it. We know he just needs that one wee moment of brilliance and we could still see that. We've still got half an hour of football to go. A nice ball falls to Philp. And it's falling nicely for Austin. Austin plays it into Easton. Plenty of support. Boyle. It's to Boyle. Boyle flicks Speed it in. Ball. Finds Austin, he Austin and he scored! What a goal, what a header, a second for Nathan Austin. Kelty take the 2-1 lead. Just as I say, Dylan's not in a great game, he lays off the cross <laughs> and then aye. That's great, thanks very much Dylan, I'll just pack my bags. <laughs> a superb wee bit of play there from Kelty. Yeah. But again, that's come from a high press, you know, we, we worked it well into the corner, we managed to get it across the goals and then we managed to get the cross in and score. It's it's what we've not done in the entire game. As we know Austin he loves a hat trick so he's gonna be all over the ball for the next thirty minutes. I know. I think I seen um Cammy Russell warming up. I don't think he'll be getting anywhere near if Austin decides he's not coming off. <laughs> so that's Kelty with the advantage in the second leg and on aggregate now. 
four one to Kelty Hearts on aggregate two one on the day. We're gonna have to see a wee bit more pressing here from Brora, and it could open that man Austin up, and he goes down. Referees, referees not giving it. It's a goal kick. Skeptical about that one. I don't think Austin goes down intentionally. Yeah, no, especially when he was going to win that race all day long. I didn't think yeah. it had any good reason to go down. But and if he does go down intentionally, I'm not sure where the card was. Yeah, this one's maybe just seen as a tangle of legs, maybe. Potentially, it's Easton with a nice wee turn now. And he looks to play it through to Austin. And Stevenson this time nips in and take it in. <laughs> so another one Andy McRae taken down there but play continues it's felt with the ball now he goes down it's out for a Brora Brora throwing wagging it with the ball into the centre of the field back out to McDonald Good ball over to McDonald here. Free kick to Kelty Hearts. James and Usher and the, the boys up again as they're Getting ready to take this free kick. Good ball up towards Higginbotham. Goes well to chest it down. And he's still in the feet of Riley. He goes down right on the edge it's of the box. Dangerous area as well. I mean, this is. I'm going to say Ryan Stevenson. Is it? No, Jamie Stevenson. <laughs> Ryan Stevenson. <laughs> Please for air or whatever. Eh? Uh, Jamie Stevenson scores. Yeah, Jamie I'm Stevenson like tids are we wanted to do. Although Austin, he wants Austin a hat always trick. wants a hat <laughs> trick. Yeah. Jamie looks like he's uh, he's always walking away from it. Either that. Yeah, he's not getting involved he's in that argument. <laughs> Higginbottom's hanging about as well. Got to imagine Austin wants a hat trick go here. Yeah. Keep your side, you think? Let's all blows. Yep. Austin. Told you. And it's a hat trick. <laughs> what a goal. What a Number three is. for Austin. Three one to Kelty Hearts today at New Central Park. Five one on aggregate. And Nathan, who was announcing the team of the decade this morning as Aye. well? A hat trick, and that is why. I think I did say it on privately a hat trick would do today, but <laughs> he's um, he's more than made up for it. Slow start from Kelty, but it seems to be pretty much job done, I would say, in that front. So, last time Broader Rangers were here a couple of seasons ago and in a pre-season <laughs> friendly. <laughs> and he's off now after his hat-trick. Austin making way yeah. for, looks like Cammy Russell. Yeah, another you know fantastic contribution from Fash, not being in the game overly too much. Comes away with three goals. Man of the match performance, I would say. Kevin Russell and his new man bun make their way. Yeah. Call on Samurai, Samurai Russell for the rest of the game, I think. Samurai Russell. As I was saying, the last time Broader Rangers were here, um, they did score first, but final result, it was 4 1 a couple of years ago in a pre season friendly tournament. Nice ball in here, though. Top mm. of the net. Indeed, was more confident that was going to the top of the night than I was <laughs> there. He's had another solid game again today, Jameson. Yeah. 
you know, I don't think there's much he could have done for the goal. I think it was just a really good goal. It was well taken, you know, after that through ball and after that, you know, again he's commanded his box, he's made a couple of saves, he's been absolutely he's been great since he come here. Yeah, I think when when you're one on one with we a keeper, the best keeper can do is make their cell big, make it difficult for the the striker. He did that but Glory took the goal and it was a well deserved first goal, but it's now three one to Kelty thanks to Nathan Austin Hattrick. And we're really going to see these guys push up now. Philp. Ball to Higginbottom. Back heel to Tidza. Out wide to Boyle. Tidza with the ball again. And they really are pressing high now, Brora. In search of well, four goals. Four goals in less than 30 minutes needed for Brora. So I think around the start of the second half, Gillespie, man of the match, was your show, was your, your views changed? I don't know. I think his name's Gillespie, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I, well, I, you can, how can you not give it to the man of the hat-trick? But as far as, Aye. you know, performance-wise, over the, the minutes so far, Gillespie for me has been really outstanding for them. Um, keeps it ticking over the middle of the park, really tidy footballer. Um, and Nathan's just done what Nathan does. I think it was also mentioned in that Team of the Decade thing the day that goals win games and Nathan Austin win games. Right. Proven correct. Certainly has on the day. Probably going to get a chance to swing the ball in now though. Does find the head of a broader player, but it's knocked out for a Kelly Hart's goal kick. So about 25 minutes left. Do you think we'll see any more changes? I think he could rest a couple more guys. I came. We've got a wee while before the broader game. I mean, as much um, as much as. Uh, As much as he'll probably will want to rest a couple of tired legs after two close games, we want to get some game time for some of the boys on the bench, I think. Definitely. It'd be nice to see a, a debut for Andy Rogers now that it's, it seems the tide does seem to be done. You know, bring him in. Get the guys who have bought the game at home a chance to see him as well. We're not gonna we're not gonna see too much in the way I suppose fouls. But we do have those two yellow cards we need to keep an eye on. Uh, definitely. Okay, so that could come into play as far as substitution goes a bit further on, but at the moment it's Brora really pushing, looking for for a goal here, but Kelly have broken it up and it's felt with the ball now. Higginbotham slotting into that striker position, makes a run. Ball back to Mallon. And he clears. Nice yeah, from Tidja doing to Stevenson. Football. He's got Cammy Russell up the wing as well. He's opted to go with Higginbotham. Wagner playing the ball out wide now for Brora. I thought Higgy well. could have held it up a wee bit better there, or Stevenson go inside to, I think it was Ross Philp. Maybe the wrong pass, but whatever way, didn't look like Callum was ready for it. Brora looking for a way through here, but Kelty doing well to keep the pressure on, make it as difficult as possible. Nice knocked up, Higginbottom is going to look to take this one down. He just doesn't quite get the good. Right touch high. <laughs> the touch was too good. Put out white to Stevenson, Cammy Russell coming back for that shot. Stevenson into Tidza. Back to Reed. All the way back to the keeper. Okay, there's a 
just try to drag them out a wee bit here we're just knocking it out with the back line absolutely they don't need to push up as much as we have at points in this game nice flick on there from Riley looking for Higginbottom nice headed out of play Easton with the ball minutes, a little over 20 minutes to go in the second half here at New Central Park. It's 3 1 to Kelly Good Hearts, 5 1 on Cammy Russell. Yeah, brilliant back play. Brought down by Wagner. Out wide to McDonald. Oh! He's a bit late there. Bill goes down and it's Wagoner, the next name in the referee's book. Kelly with a free kick now. Just really good reaction time for Ross here. He just got in just a, a second before. He did a wee mistake there for Wagoner and Phil was right on it. Russell now. Good ball. Great ball oh, in. It's a great ball. It's nice. a great cross. Funny stuff there from Cammy Russell. See that ball was just missing a centre forward there. Rowan now pressing. You can see them all pushing up in such a second goal. Good ball. Looking for McDonald. He's unable to ball. keep it in eye. So he didn't want to give the guy McDonald too much time and space because he threw in a couple of great crosses already today. Ah, in that first half, he was all over that left wing. Wagner with the header on there. Well broken up by Hooper. He's got a chance, a nice wee turn there. there. Good tackle nice by Craig Reid. Craig Reid, brilliant stuff there. He plays it out to Easton as well. Nice, well, it's nice opened ball up. in. It's opened right up. Tidza with the ball now as Kelly looked to break away. He's got Cammy Russell on the wing. Stevenson in support as well. Plays it to Stevenson. Stevenson into the box, looking for Philp and he's headed away. It's still in and about the box though, it's cleared away now by Brora though, so they'll now look to break. Playing the long ball That's looking for Morrison, but too much on it, yeah. Got to remember when this pitch is wet, that ball moves fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. there's nothing to slow it down. Great to play again with Cammy Russell there. Tidza with the ball now, Stevenson back to Craig Reid. Jameson with the clearance. He's into the broader half. Easton with a the turn there. Higginbottom back to Philp. Back to Higginbottom. Riley now. Craig Reid with the ball. Plays it to Stevenson. He does well there under pressure. All the way back to DJ, plays out to Tidza. And Riley, with a good turn there, and he's just dragged the, the number eight into the foul there. Ah, he did die. McLean there with the foul on Riley. <laughs> wayward pass gives Brora a wee I don't chance think here. It was a wayward pass, I think it was a wayward dive. <laughs> <laughs> just took his eye off the ball and it just went under his foot. Williamson with the ball for Brora. Superb, not, not the best game from Kelty, but 
still able to do the business. Obviously, so making a good team when you're not playing at your best, you can still come away with a result. Absolutely. And um, aye, the guys at the end of the day, however they feel their performance has been, job's done. And they look comfortable now. They look comfortable hanging on the ball despite the the pressure from Brora. Long ball looking for Higginbottom. Plays it back, Cammy Russell nips in. He does well to find Philp, who looks to play it back to Cammy Russell. And Brora now have the ball. A ball over, but a nice run from Pickles down the wing, but. Oh. We We clashing the players there, they're both on their feet though. Paddy Boyle and Pickles. Them, just, uh, Not sure the what pace that we're going at made it look worse than the, what it was, I think. Paddy Boyle being solid again today. Cooper with the header away, as far as Zellin, he's played it out to Higginbottom. Plays it across, now we've got Cammy Russell and we've got Stevenson on the overlap. Cuts inside, and he's tried the shot for range, but it's, it's wide. Cammy Russell going for the wonder goal there, I think. Yeah, he's more than capable as well. It just, uh, just not with that one. A three one up, you can't blame him for trying. Yeah. McDonald now with a through ball and well in from Craig Reed he's there. Just to break hang. He's been solid he's since been he solid came on as well. On right, yeah. Plenty of experience as well, Craig, and you know he's using every bit of that today. Yeah, I might be wrong because this is off the cup, but cuff. But I think he's got a wee bit of experience of playing in these games as well. When he was with East Kilbride and they took on Cove Rangers a couple of seasons ago, mm -hmm. so he knows all about these games. It's free kick to Kelly Hearts. Broader look like they're going to make a couple of changes. Fifteen minutes left of the second leg of this pyramid playoff semi final. A visit from Club Forty Two, Brecon City awaits the winner of this one. It's looking like it's gonna be Kelty Hearts. That game will take place on Tuesday the eighteenth. Craig Reed with the ball looking for Easton. It's headed away by Pickles. I think if we're allowed fans in for that game on the 18th, um, Kelly will be very busy that Tuesday night, depending on how many we're allowed in. That's what it does. It looks like a tasty fixture, and if, if it was ever a time to get fans back in, yeah. you would hope it would be against a Breakin City, or the Breakin City, I should say. Header away there from McDonald. Credit to Broder pushing, still looking for that second goal of the game for for the Highland League winners. I don't think this is the last time we'll see Broder Rangers in this playoff leg either. A solid outfit playing up in the Highland. Yeah, and depending on um, what happens, you know, in the next set of fixtures, should be an interesting uh, season with them and. They who should not be named. There's <laughs> <laughs> Pickles with a throw in. It's 
Mike Williamson now is going to play the ball out for Rona Rangers. Substitute Gregor McDonald there with the ball for Rona Rangers. Pushing up here now, Williamson. Nice through ball there. He's offside though. And that'll slow things down, that'll do nicely. Another substitute for Brora Rangers. This time it's the number five. Mark Nicholson going off. I'm quite surprised with you know five minutes left that we've not made any more changes. Another gamble coming on there, number 16 for Brora Rangers. Yeah, I'm quite surprised as well. I thought we would have seen a, a couple of guys come on, but match fitness clearly not an issue, yeah. as we maybe thought before the first leg. It's going to be a corner kick now for, for Kelly Hurst. Or is it a throw in? No, it's a corner kick. Oh, and here we go. It looks like we've got some guys getting ready for Kelly Hurst. Rogers, we look it. Andy Rogers could be making his debut here. Ball in from Stevenson. Higginbotham does get ahead to it. It's brought back Shot. for Tidger. Looking to set Tidger up there. What good defending by Brora Rangers. looking for a, an opening. Riley with the ball on. Well headed by Cammy Russell. There's Brora that bring it down. Jordan McCray there. Nice ball in there from Rora Rangers, falls to McDonald, who looks to swing it in, but Cammy Russell does well does to defend. To that Stevenson, Craig Reed now with the ball. And for the ball over, looking for Higginbotham, who takes it well. He's nice ball through ball. to Philp there from Higginbotham, and he's Rossi's finding himself with an opportunity. Oh, Unfortunate there. Good defending from Rora Rangers. Paddy Boyle with the ball now. Finds Higginbotham again. He's had a, a better game today, Higginbotham. He's played. Played well, been active and been involved. Yeah, it really took him a wee while again into the game, but once he was in it, you know, he, was, he likes his wee one touches around the corner and stuff like that. Once he started working out for him, you could see his confidence always picking up after that. And it's that man, Higginbotham, that's going to make way for Andy Rogers. He's going to make his debut in the Maroon. Easton and Stevenson both hovering over this one. Easton with a gets, way, gets some power on it, takes a wee knock off the wall though, and it's out wide for a corner kick. Looks like Hegel Espy took that one on the chops here. Just a little bit. Yes, Easton plays it out to Riley. Riley lines it up, he takes a shot from out, Ooh. and it's wide. Well, it it came close, aye. No, it hit the post just behind the net. Oh, did it? Aye. Still came close. I thought I hit the post as well. Maybe it did hit the post. Going on <laughs> <laughs> you need to get your glasses on. <laughs> we need an instant replay again. And he's saying it's a handball there from Stevenson, so brought away a free kick here, an opportunity to swing it in. 
consolation goal possibly on the cards. Got a little over then. five minutes in the second half. Ball swung in towards the back post. It's headed down Tidzer to Easton. Brora now with a chance again. We opt to play the ball back and start over though. Out wide. Nice ball through there and it's into the box Good and it ball. makes its way across the box. Tidzer with the clearance. I don't think that was a foul. I'd it did take one in the face here, but I don't think it was a foul. I don't think it was. there was any malice in it at all. Potentially accidental knock there. He's getting up. He looks like he's all right. He's a big boy. I'm sure he's dished out plenty in his time. He'll be fine. Nice introduction to the game for Andy Rogers there. Drop ball here to Brora. Now wide to McDonald. Puts it back into the centre circle. They're pinging along ball and looking for Jordan McRae, but he goes over and straight into the hands of DJ between the sticks for Kelly Hearts. And he does well, it's Andy Rogers that almost comes into the ball there. He's done well, he's done well yeah, to he Just shielding the ball out of play there. Stevenson with a throw in. Easton with the ball inside the box. Tids are now. Plays it to Jameson who cuts inside. Back to Easton. And Easton gets a foul. turn there, and he's. Oh, oh it looked like he was pulled there. down. I've seen him give him for a, a lot less. Now, Wade McDonald now. Less than five minutes to play in this second half. Andy Rogers with the ball now. Harry Boyle working his way up the wing there. He'll be happy to take his time. It's out of play. Throwing for Brora. Just keeping possession at the moment, looking to play their way downfield. Not pressing as much as they did 10, 15 minutes ago. That's back to how they started the game, really, wasn't it? Not just kind of looking to keep possession and just pass it on. Yeah, absolutely. and now making their way into the Kelly half. Sitting off a little bit, Jordan McRae looks for the flick in. Not sure how that was near free kick. And it's Easton now with the ball. It's a free kick there as Rogers goes in for the tackle. Rogers with a bit of jarring tackle and pickles there. Yeah, absolutely. Oh 
Paul play then. Throw away the ball again. They're not doing too much to press forward now, they're just kind of running down the clock a wee bit. Yeah, I think so. If we can sneak a wee consolation goal, I'm sure they'll be happy to do so. It's a good ball. Credit for for pushing right to the end to Brora though. Stevenson just getting Usher to move forward there from Jameson. Less than a minute left of the 90 to play here at New Central Park. Again, 3-1 to Kelly Hearts, 5-1 on aggregate. Andy Rogers well up there. Oh, it's and he's falling it. nicely for Cammy Russell. Oh, just run away from there. Pickles with a slide tackle there. He wasn't there switched on as he could have been there, Cammy Russell. It fell really nicely for him. Yeah, I think it just skidded away from a wee bit. And there's that last ditch pickle. Tackle, sorry. Plays it out to Stevenson. Back to Tidzer. Ball over. Not really to anybody. Hooper picks it up though. Knocks it into the box. Headed down to Marlon. We're in injury time now. Again, thanks to the match virtual match ball sponsor for today, Gordon Beers. Well in there from Cammy Russell just to break up play again. A nice rest waits Kelly Hearts after this game. It's a Tuesday night fixture back here at New Central Park. Against Beacon City, Brora going for a consolation goal there. It's well blocked by Kelly. Thanks. So That's the Kelly Hearts Man of the Match announcement. Nathan Austin, the hat trick hero on the day. Oh. Easton with a turn, flicking it on to Riley. Oh, Knocks it back to deal. Easton. He's got Cammy Russell out wide. He likes to turn it in. Knocks it on to Andy Rogers, and it's knocked away there by the number four for Brother Rangers. Stevenson's going to take the throw on. Tidzer who knocks the ball back towards the box. Falls to Easton, Easton oh, shoots and into the bottom corner. He could not what help himself. What Couldn't a goal that is. Himself. What a goal. Foot. Spectacular for Dylan there. Hits it on the volley into the bottom corner. He just can't help but go past the game with foot. I know. Doing the spectacular. Superb stuff, and that's a fourth from Kelty. 4 1, 6 1 on aggregate. And there's that 4 1 result for him. Name scoring first the last time. Yeah. Mark's taken a bow here. Last time we played at Brora Rangers before the last game was 2 0 as well, so deja vu a little bit. And oh that's yes the sir. final whistle. Kelty progressed to the final against Club 42. Beacon City. Well done to Brora Rangers. Thanks to everybody who listened in.